UTEP men's basketball entered the night undefeated, but with all due respect to UT Permian Basin and Sol Ross State, beating opponents with three names won't really get you very far. The first Division I opponent tonight in St. Mary's, a mid-major power. So our first real look at Rodney Terry's minors. A first half, it was a dogfight with the Gales, and this play didn't result in a bucket, but may have been the most pivotal of the half. Bryson Williams picks up his second foul on the block. He would have to sit for the remainder of the half half and the Gales would capitalize. Tommy Cues, this guy looks like the dude who's shooting on the other end of the rec gym. You pick him up when you need a 10th guy and he goes out and gives you 24. Gales up double digits, but UTEP fought back at the end of the half. Jamal Bienemy Peekaboo out around it. Christian Joland, former high school teammates connecting for the corner pocket triple and last play before the half. Titus Verhoeven. Give the Miners some momentum heading into the halftime period. They would be trailing by nine, second half. This is why you need Bryson Williams for a full game, because he was cooking out of the gates in the second, three from the top of the key, and then ring it up again from the corner pocket. All of the sudden, the Miners within four. But the Gales would put it away from there on and play bully ball down the stretch. Matthias Tass here, the benefactor of a loose pig skin there, and he picks it up. Loose leather skin, pig skin, I don't know what do you call it. I call it two points for St. Mary's and then back the other way. St. Mary's incredibly efficient in the low post. 73-61 the final. Williams finished with 17. 15 in the second half. UTEP is at Arizona on Saturday.